Hello student, hello everyone. My name is Mr. Baharo. Today the lesson topic is source of population data. Population data is population information such as number, age, marital status, birth, death rate, occupation, religion, and educational status and other characteristics of human population is called population data. Importance of population information. It provides statistical information for making decision. It includes future requirement of the population. It helps policy makers to forecasting. The following are the most commonly used methods of gathering information about human population. These are population census, sample survey, and vital registration. Let's see one by one. Population census. Census is the total enumeration of all people of a certain geographic area with a well-defined boundary to collect socioeconomic and demographic information about the population. It provides size, growth rate, fertility, and mortality, employment, ethnicity, income, religion, and much of information about a given area. It is the main source of population data. Population census is started in Rome, Greece, Palestine, India, and Italy. In Ethiopia, population census is started in the 1984 in the first time, in 1994 in the second time, and 2007 in the third time. What are the characteristics of population census? Population census is characterized by seven basic characteristics. The first one is it is sponsored by government government sponsorship, universality, defined territory, simultaneity, individual units, periodicity, and expensiveness. Government sponsorship means sponsored by or funded by government. It is universal or global. It is con conducted in defined territory of one country. Simultaneity, it have a limited time, space, or continuous continuity. Individual units, it counts individual persons. Periodicity conducted in every five or ten years. It is much more expensive. So those seven things are the characteristics of population census. Second type of population data is sample survey or taking of specimen. It is widely used source of population data. It collects information only from a part of the whole or taking a specimen. It provides accurate and detailed information than population census. It is undertaken between two consecutive censuses. It is vital for in areas where census is not conducted. Population census is much more ex expensive. Sample survey is less expensive. The third type of population information is called vital registration. It is continuous registration of vital events. The vital events include birth rate, death rate, marriage and divorce. It uses expensive and extensive processes. The data are gathered through birth and death certificate, marriage license, and divorce records. Factors that affect vital registration. Vital registration is affected by level of literacy and awareness, social custom, and inaccessibility. Factors affecting the quality of data. 
sample survey, population census, and vital registration are affected by inadequate finance, using of different method of census, inadequate awareness, double entry, neglecting certain group of people, false information, and lack of equal acceptance. Student, today's lesson topic is the three types of population data. Those population data include the first one is population census, the second one is sample survey, the third one is vital registration. Thank you for listening. It is all about today's lesson.